I think the biggest uh, changes and trends affecting retail, one, mobile commerce has become, I think, you know, it's crossed way beyond the threshold. I mean, today we're seeing in some markets where more than 70% of uh, commerce, e-commerce at least, is happening on mobile. So I think to set a baseline, retail is moving more online. Uh, there are markets where it's at 9 and 10% like China, but there are markets like India and Southeast Asia and a lot of emerging markets, the offline retail is moving online. So that's, I would say, is the biggest, biggest driver in terms of offline moving to online. And the number two, I would say, is that all transitioning to mobile, as I mentioned. I think that part of 1% or 2% or 9%, more than 50 60% is happening on mobile. You know, that's the second piece. I think the third one I would say is there's become more and more stronger connectivity between offline and online. You know, it's not just about offline stores. The online and offline work together, what we call as omni channel. I think it's a very big thing. And then the last but not the least is more and more younger generation are shopping, but they're all more on the mobile and the online side. So that is impacting retail in some ways. I think the biggest trends affecting retail and growing retail in many ways, one is more and more retail is moving online. So uh, traditional offline retail is moving online. You take markets like China, where more than or close to 10% is online, versus markets like India, Southeast Asia, where it's just ramping up north of 1% going online. Then you have more Western markets, where there's a significant portion which is online already. So I think that continues, but the bigger driver underneath that is mobile. You know, that big chunk of retail that's going online, I would say 60, 70, or some cases 80% is happening on mobile. And that's again driven by, I would say the third factor is younger generation. A lot of these new markets, users coming online for the first time, they're actually skipping the PC generation. They've become more mobile first, mobile only. So you're seeing a massive shift of uh, transactions happening through mobile, through younger generation. You know. One of the stats I would say is next five years, majority of the growth on online e-commerce is going to be driven, almost 65% of that growth is going to be driven by people less than 35 years old. Uh, you know, that, that says that how much the younger uh, generation is shopping online, but predominantly on mobile. Um, I think it's yes or no. Uh, we've seen in markets where they've embraced a lot, you know, China being one, where because of the lack of physical infrastructure and offline infrastructure, you're naturally inclined to be more towards online and mobile versus markets like US and Europe in many cases where there is a much more richer physical infrastructure and offline infrastructure, you know, it's, it's become lighter that way. So I would say the markets like Southeast Asia, India, China, uh, predominantly most of Asia, which is a lot of emerging markets, they are, I don't think retailers have, retailers have a choice, but to embrace uh, the mobile and online e-commerce uh, to, to do you know, sales and trade. Versus a lot of the developed markets, it's going to take a little bit more of education and transition. So they're going more linear, while you've got more of a jump happening in, in emerging markets, mostly in Asia. Yeah, so when you think about consumers in key geographies in the world, I would say, the, of course, the hottest bit of growth is happening in Asia, uh, which I would pick again, uh, Southeast Asia, India being a very important driver. They're all small numbers. Southeast Asia today is about four and a half billion dollar market on e-commerce. Retail, of course, still one or two percent of total retail. You think about India, it's close to one percent of total retail at about 17 billion dollar uh, total commerce market projected. That's but growing on a very rapid space. You know, when you think about next five years, you're projecting hundred mil, hundred billion dollar plus for India, and then you're projecting about forty billion dollars for Southeast Asia. So, that's the online piece of it. So that means the offline is also growing. The biggest driver there is the spending ability for consumers in this market is improving at a rapid pace, right? You're looking at per capita level GDP. When you look at uh, the disposable income in these markets, that's at a very, very steady space and a very good pace. So I would say there has been a good trend from these consumers. I think developed markets, it's a little bit harder. I think the growth is much slower, but a lot of the opportunity and 
mainly because of the most of the countries in Asia, the average age, median age is much lower. In many cases, you take market like India, it's 27 years old is the median age. You take some big countries, even Indonesia, you know, all of this you're talking about in sub 30, which is where a lot of the interaction is happening online. I think so. Uh, when you think about f physical store, I think physical store and online, uh, it's yin and yang relationship in many ways. I think you need both of them. Our view and my personal view, no market, uh, not more than 40% of total retail can go online. Right, you will you will be close to four, and which is massive number still. I mean, today you're talking about still less than ten percent. So there's so much to go for online, but the user behavior traditionally when they're buying, uh, you know, you, the offline and online are connected. There is an omni-channel. Alibaba is an example. We invested in Suning, which is a massive offline presence, but the whole idea of connecting offline and online. Uh, and that's going to be a consumer behavior. At least we see it even in future. There is going to be, but. The key is retailers have to get creative. They have to connect to online world. They have to connect to the mobile world. If you're not, then you're not giving consumers the seamless experience. Consumers in the end, if you think about the use case they're trying to solve for, they want to buy a product. They want to experience a product. Our job is to create a platform to make it easier to consume that. Retailer's job as an offline store should be the same. Doesn't matter where the transaction happens, all you should do is enable. So I think there is a strong role for offline stores, but it's going to be a connected role with the online world. I think there are many buckets. One, technology-wise, the new medium is mobile. So I think a lot of the shopping experience now is happening on mobile. So we're seeing that trend in most markets. So I think all the commerce players, retailers, need to have a strong mobile presence. Taking that one step further, is targeting, the so user targeting, understanding a user, use leveraging data has become very, very important. So for retailers, for brands, for online platforms, having collective data on a user in a good way to be able to target and show better assortment of products and be able to engage them on a constant basis becomes very, very important. Now the bigger piece, the new mediums of how users are shopping is changing. So one of the big things we've talked about as Alibaba is virtual reality. Uh, and we've uh, recently announced the launch of Buy Plus within our shopping, which is you can be in a virtual, you can be at your home, but be in a virtual shopping store buying products, right? That's real. You know, as much as people would have thought even a few months back saying, is it real or not? You know, we've got these things, these experiences coming now. In the end, you're still shopping something. You're still buying something. The whole idea is how do you make it more efficient? How do you make it more integrated, right? Does the physical store go away? No, I think there's still connectivity. I think there's a lot of logistics that still needs to happen physical, but the virtual reality, the augmented reality pieces of those, that becomes a very important future. Again, those are one more medium layer that gets added on to your shopping experience but I would see those are the things that are getting added to the current platforms I think Retail Congress Asia Pacific this is the first time for me personally to attend here and it's been awesome I think uh, it's a very important forum because you're bringing retailers brands and online platforms like Alibaba and many others Lazada all of us together because this is where ideas get formed, this is where partnerships get formed, this is where innovation really happens when things connect together. And I think we work separately, then things don't happen in a very fluid manner. And this is a great forum to bring all of them together. In Asia, in my view, when you have more than 50% of population in this region, uh, you know, globally, it's a very important thing for us to bring it together. As simple as educating everybody on what each of us are doing and sharing ideas, you know, everybody benefits in together. As I said, offline is not going away, nor is online. So it has to be that we have to work together. This forum is a great forum to bring everyone together and take it to a better future.